Hello everyone, TechSpeeder here with another video. Today I want to show you the new Windows Insider build 15019. And this build came out yesterday and I've been very busy today. Today was Saturday here in the United States and so I don't have a lot of time to cover this particular build but I'll give you a brief overview and of course you can always find the release notes on Microsoft's site. So let's get right into it. This build has a ton of Xbox gaming features. It was previously rumored that a game mode was coming to Windows 10, but you couldn't turn it, the switch on on the previous builds. But in this build, we now get that capability. So let's dive right into it. So if we come in here to our settings, go here, you now see you have a gaming settings here in Windows. So if we click on gaming, you now have game bar customizations, keyboard shortcuts that you can change to open the game bar or take screenshots things like that you also have game DVR which to be honest I'm not a game player as strange as that may sound most IT people or people that like technology are big gamers but I am not so to me this doesn't mean a lot to me but you now have a lot of these game features you can hear is where you can turn on game mode so what basically game mode does is ensures you play your games with the best possible experience probably what will happen is it throttles some of the memory from the other applications or CPU from the other applications and boosts the CPU your RAM your GPU for your games that you're playing so Microsoft is definitely trying to make the gaming experience on Windows the best ever here in this update so they are also bringing Windows Game Bar improved full screen support. They're adding more titles. Uh, let's see here. A couple games that have it. I think they released 17 additional games, including Battlefield 3, Call of Duty, Black Ops 2, FIFA 14, FIFA 17. Anyway, you can find the full list on their site. So, enough of that as far as games. Let's move into Microsoft Edge. They continue to improve this and they continue to improve Microsoft Edge and with the last build 15014 they announced ebooks in their store and basically the ebooks are now being opened in Microsoft Edge which we knew in, in the previous build but in this build they're also saying they're now bringing the feature for Microsoft Edge to now read your books aloud so I don't really have a book here to demo it with if I had a little more time maybe I would have brought one up to just to kind of show it to you but when you open up a book you will now have a little icon a little black bar will appear down here and you'll have the read icon and it's definitely a cool feature if you're going to be using books from the Windows Store I think that's a welcome addition but to be honest I find it a little far-fetched why you would actually read books in Microsoft Edge and why you wouldn't use say a the Kindle app from Amazon but hey that isn't a feature that they're adding and that's good to see okay and a couple other small things they're continuing to improve Microsoft Edge to display the correct emojis previously the emojis they were just black and white or yeah they just didn't look right so I'll just kind of show you here on Microsoft site these little emojis are now updated and fully supported so I like to see that and Microsoft is also bringing a better out-of-box experience signing into your computer for the first time it's what they call the OOBE that's kind of the acronym for out-of-box experience and they're continuing to work on that making better privacy settings because that was a big concern with Windows 10 the privacy so you now have easy toggle switches for say location speech recognition, diagnostics, whether you want to send that or don't want to send it. So it's nice to see better transparency in that. They also have, an, and I think this is a very good idea, is the Wi-Fi captive portal. So when you're going through the setup of your computer, say you're for some reason at a hotel or Starbucks or something like that, and you need to connect to the Wi-Fi while you're setting it up, Previously, there was really no way to do that until you signed into Windows, connected, signed into the captive portal. Basically, the captive portal, you agreed to the terms and conditions to using that Wi-Fi. So 
when connecting to that sort of a Wi-Fi hotspot, they will now let you navigate to a lightweight browser so you can accept the conditions and service and reach the internet. They also now have Windows Hello enrollment while you're setting up your computer, a bunch of little bug fixes and visual polish. So in this build, they're also renaming what they called the blue light setting. So let me just show you here. If we go under the system and then display, it used to be called blue light is now called night light settings, which kind of makes sense. I think basically if you're not familiar with this, but night light is supposed to help when it gets later at night that the screen display shows warmer colors which is to help you sleep so definitely a cool little feature and just basically a name change microsoft also updated some of the the color schemes for the the warmer lighting okay and another little addition here microsoft continues to improve the action center so now when you're downloading apps let's just download something here just to show you let's just download power bi so let's just hit get here so when we're when we're downloading an app you now see the status of it in the action center so if we click here you can see it says downloading and we'll show you your installation progress so definitely a cool little feature and it's nice to see that they're bringing some more integration with the operating system in action center Another one that I really like is you now can resize your virtual machine connection in Hyper-V. So previously when I resize this, so for example, I'm resizing this here to something smaller. Now I need to scroll around with these scroll bars on the sides to kind of see here my start menu or if I need to see, I need to scroll around. So now when you quickly resize what they call your VM connect or basically your window connecting into your VM, you can when you drag these these arrows here it'll automatically resize which is totally legit and the reason why it's not quote unquote working on here is because the host operating system is not running the latest build just my vm is so that's why i can't demo that but it's nice to see that they're throwing a bone to the enterprise users or people that use vms a lot okay so that's pretty much most of the features most of it was game oriented and like i said i'm not really a gamer and I probably don't fully appreciate this update as some of you will. I, to be honest, feel like Microsoft may be losing. For me, I feel like this is, this is just kind of a niche market and I would like to see them. Okay, so I work in productivity, small business, IT, medium sized business type stuff. And I don't see much coming for the small to medium sized business market. And I don't know how many of you know, but there's a serious bug yet in the anniversary update 1607, where when you have a shared folder and you try creating a new folder on that, that it freezes up and crashes Explore basically. You can let a link to that issue in the notes. And so far I've not seen any release notes about that being fixed in this. And that's just a simple thing of creating a folder on a shared drive. And the only fix right now is to basically disable Windows Search, which is extremely annoying. So to me, I wish they would put a little more time into polishing the operating system instead of going after some of these niche markets. But hey, I guess for the gamers, this is an awesome update. Okay, so let's get into a couple of the bugs in this. Um, like every insider build, there's a plenty of bugs. Probably only touch on one of them mostly is and i'm not sure if this is a bug or feature now i know it's a bug but they say in the release notes that going to some google sites you may have trouble because they're updating some of the security policies in edge so i tried it i can get a google find but when i try to go to gmail.com you're going to shortly see that it's just going to spin here for a bit oh now it worked okay well now it's proving me wrong but previously when i had went to gmail.com it just sat there and then eventually said your security protocol isn't up to date or something try try the website later so i microsoft is saying okay let me check to see if youtube is giving us issues oh no it looks like it's working i think it, internet's a little slow here so that's probably the issue but microsoft is saying if you're having trouble reaching google sites you can open in a new in private window and i had verified that when i was having trouble getting gmail to come up that that had worked 
so I'm not sure why it all of a sudden started working here, but I had verified that if you bring it up here in the in private browsing mode, that will fix the issue or be a workaround at least. So that's that. And of course there's still some other issues, but there has been plenty of bug fixes that they have done this time. I don't think I'll get into that because I'm trying to keep this video a little shorter. It's Saturday night, it's kind of late. So if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up below and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.